Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in Super Fantasy Kingdom. If you haven't gone back and checked out the first episode, please go do that because it will make a lot more sense on what's going on in this game. So the first episode we did our little run and we made it like three or four days. And now we're going to go ahead and start our second run. As you can see in the upper right, we got our 16 coins. So we don't have enough to purchase damage or health or shield. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and start our second run here. I've really been enjoying this game so far. This is impossible. And let's see, the king is saying, why am I alive again? Yeah, because we did die a little bit ago. So part of, let's go ahead and pause here for a second. Some of the things we unlock stuck around. So like over here on the left side of the screen, this construction pad stuck, these two stuck. The roads we built, uh, this one over here, that rock there, and then um, this one kind of going over here to the right. We still need to help out the merchant, uh, right, or I'm please. assuming he's a merchant, uh, but we don't have, oh yeah, merchant right there, it says it. We don't have the planks to help him. The red X's, we can get bonuses. We haven't quite made it there yet. And uh, depending on how we do, hopefully we get enough coins to go ahead and purchase these where we get more permanent starting resources. So since we put this stone over here, we did start with one extra stone. Anyways, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and hit play here. I am going to turn the sound down just a little bit there. And let's go ahead and place our tavern right here. We'll go ahead and click yes. And then I'm thinking, let's see, that's the stone, that's the ore. Let's go ahead and put our lumber yard here and we'll get our first villager working there, and we don't have enough for the house, but we will here in a few seconds. So if you guys have any comments about this game, please let us know down below. I'd love to hear them. And the developer has been uh, to the first video and commented on that, so he is watching this, and I'm quite proud of that. And it looks like we got monsters coming in, some skeletons shambling their way in. Here's our first skeleton. Um, and only skeleton and our knight here our main hero uh will go out and when he's in range here in a few seconds we'll go out and kill him here's our second skeleton working his way in so we will lose the game if our knight dies uh as we progress and unlock more materials oops we hit our four wood let's go ahead and build that second house and then i'm gonna go ahead and well we can't build the quarry yet because we just spent all of our wood so we'll have the second person go into the lumber yard there and we'll start chopping down a bunch of trees. Anyways, what I was saying is uh, our knight here, if we let him die, we lose. Now we'll eventually be able to purchase, for example, over here, uh, a fighter. Uh, in day two, I'm assuming we're gonna get another fighter when the, the old man from the woods comes in. We'll find out here in a few minutes. Now it looks like the king, oh, there's his dog. We can pet the dog right there. So let's go ahead and get fast forward going here. Now we get coins from killing these monsters as our knight runs over there and slashes that skeleton to death. Slash this other one here, perfect. These guys over here. And there we go, we just got three treasures. Nighttime's rolling around, so now they're angry and they move a little, little bit quicker. And we've got one more it looks like, perfect. And at the end of the night, once all the monsters are destroyed, our fighters come back into our lovely village here and come into the inn, the tavern and we get a little update of the day. So we killed 11 skeletons, no one made it pass, and no one died. Uh, our knight did 100% of the kills because he's the only one out there. We're gonna go ahead and skip that. Now, as we progress, we will be able to get How meals and things like that that give them more experience, and then at night, they heal up fully. So, you come again, old man. What is happening that here? Is I cannot say. I awoke just like you. <laughs> so, we can just repeat yes. and learn. Maybe this time fate is on your side. Mm, sounds like Groundhog Day. Mm, yeah. All right, so we could take the skeleton, the rune scroll. Oh, we're going to take the death priest 100%. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to move our knight up a little bit. And we'll put our death priest right there. And it looks like they're a little bit of a ranged unit. Uh, and they got grass. The dead come to aid. I'm guessing it slows people down, it looks like. Yeah, and awaken the dead. Unlock past the skill of the witch. Well, we haven't quite figured that out yet. So let's go ahead and get that fast forward going again. We got four logs built or collected. So let's go ahead and put our quarry there. We'll take one person out of the lumber yard and put them in the quarry. Because our next thing we need to do here is repair our storage in the castle. So instead of four max, we can store eight. So we need two more stones. He should run down there. 
and he'll start getting that stone from there for us. If we had more people, we could have someone in the tavern collecting berries. Like I said, that uh, gives our fighters more experience. So day two, monsters are starting to roll in. I've been calling these elves. I don't know actually what they are. If you guys do, please let me know in the comments on down below. And there we go. So the the death priest, or it's death priest, right? Yep. Slows them down with those little arms coming up. And that'll give our knight time to go and finish them off. We got a couple skeletons and our elf kind of shambling their way in. Sunset here. We got our four stones. So let's go ahead and pause. We'll go ahead and upgrade our storage there. And then the next day, let's get the eight logs so we can build the next house and get ourselves another villager all right night's almost over there we go get some treasure there and down goes the last skeleton perfect so death priest and the knight working pretty well together let's head into the tavern here now we're not going to have any food so we can skip this for now skip 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 continue sorry there we go skip 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 what we do need to, to look at next, it's day three. So we've got two glory from surviving the night. And glory and stone allows us to build additional roads. Now, as you can see, we need 100, 250, 350, 50. Not quite there yet. One and 10. Uh, let's see what this is. One and 999. Uh, we could do this one, maybe this level. What about this one over here? One and five. No, not quite yet. So we'll go ahead and get the game going here again. And that just allows, allows us to expand into different areas. Three stone already, five logs. So hopefully we get to eight here in a second as our horse transports all those materials in for us. Monsters are starting to roll in. We got a death priest, it looks like, some skeletons. Let's go ahead and since we got the four stones, we'll purchase the fighter and we'll just drop him there. And we have eight logs, so we'll go ahead and purchase that other house. And now that we have that, eventually what I would like to do is build, we'll need to build the sawmill. So we need to gather up five logs again. So let's go ahead and put that extra worker in the, the lumber yard there and they can start gathering up more logs for us. And that will allow us to get to that sawmill a little bit quicker because we need that sawmill to make planks to build the gold mine, which is kind of the next big thing we need. So we got her at double speed here, slashing away here. So our fighter has a pretty short range, but he does protect the knight and the death priest uh, a little bit. We'll collect that treasure there. So yeah, there you go. You saw him swipe at that death priest coming in. All right, our knight's just really racking up those kills. Nighttime here. Looks like our death priest took a little damage. Fighter just slashing away there. Last couple monsters. Beautiful. Surviving night three, moving on to day four here. We're gonna go ahead and skip all this because we really don't have anything to do yet. Day four. All right, has anything spawned in our treasure spot? Nothing there and nothing there. I just saw a lightning strike, wow. That's getting awfully close. Um, all right, eight logs. So we really need to get that lumber mill built. So let's go ahead, or sawmill built. So we'll go ahead and build the sawmill. We'll take one person out of the lumber yard and put him in the sawmill there to start grafting some planks for us. So there he goes, up into there, perfect. Uh, we got five stones. Um, anything we can do with the stones yet? We could get the forester, but we don't have enough people to do that. Uh, lightning just coming down. Here come the, I've been calling these like ogres. Yeah, I don't know exactly what they are, but uh, they're, they're stomping their way down there just like that. There we go, the death priest is slowing them down. Our knight's running out, starting to stab them. The halfling we had in the first episode was pretty good. I liked him. Uh, that ranged unit did quite a bit of damage. There we go, knocking down those ogres. We might not make it past. Hopefully our our fighter does quite a bit of damage. All right, nighttime here. Get that coin. Oh, we're gonna be, it's gonna be tight, boys and girls. Um, our knight. Come on, there we go, oof. Okay, a little worried there for a second. Knight four survived. Very nice, let's go ahead and skip all this. Get into day five. We got our five stones, six planks. So let's go ahead and put our gold mine here. And then we're gonna take the person out of the lumber mill. Um, yeah, take the person out of the lumber mill and put him in the gold mine. So he's gonna come and start getting this ore for us. So then we can upgrade the capacity of our storage. So then we can get that extra house here in a few seconds. Yeah, cause we need to get 16 logs. 
Okay, we got no one up there, even though, is he making another log? Yeah, there we go. Now he's going down and he'll start getting that ore for us, even though that's not exactly what I wanted. But we should, oh, we need two more stone. Hopefully we get two stone here pretty quickly and we can upgrade our fighter and that'll help protect us. Let's go ahead and hit fast forward here. All right, seven. And we should be getting that other stone here any second. All right, beautiful. He's mining that ore. There goes that ore in. And there goes that stone. So we'll go ahead and upgrade our fighter. All right, ranks. Your first unit just ranked up. Very nice. You can rank units up with resources or when you get multiple of one unit. To evolve a unit, you also need enough glory to invite their family into the kingdom. Leveling increases stats while ranking up improves active and passive abilities. Nice. All right, so let's just go ahead and click on him here. Uh, stab, reduce time to 1.4 seconds. So it looks like he can attack a little bit faster. Good. And the snow is slowing everyone down. We got some beholders coming in. Uh, those guys are kind of scary. Those floating eyes with the tentacly arms. Our knight's out there slashing away. Oops, sorry about that. Um, let's pause for a second. How much glory do we have right now? Uh, we got three glory. Oh, we do have the planks still. Let's go ahead and get the merchant here. Pretty please. Uh, pretty please, yes, I will give you those three planks. We'll let's go again. and help the merchant. So hopefully next time we'll be able to use them. All right, so off he goes. We fixed that. We've got 21 coins. Man, I don't know if we're going to survive this. So let's go ahead and... Um, do I want more wood? Probably more stone at the next start. Yeah, we'll go ahead and spend those 19 coin and get that stone there. So now we should have two stones when we start next time. Got three ore. Uh, now, or, yeah, three ore. Now we need to get our stone back up. So then we can upgrade our storage here in a few seconds. Um, yeah, we, we aren't doing so hot here. Hopefully our fighter can kind of keep people at bay. Death Priest taking some damage, our Knight taking some damage. There we go, wowzers. Down we go, so let's go ahead and accept. Well, we can watch them invade really quick. Uh, we'll accept defeat and let's do one more run, shall we? We're only uh, about 12 minutes into this video. So we lost on day five of three glory and gained five coins um, to share the score. Okay, uh, we'll pass that for now. Bring our Knight in, play here. So we have 21 coins because uh, we spent quite a bit of it. We can either increase our health or increase our shield. Let's go ahead and, because we can't do any of these, can we? No, these are all really expensive. Charm. Let's go ahead and increase our shield. Yeah, that seems good. And then we'll go ahead and start a new day here in Super Fantasy <laughs> Kingdom. I'm really enjoying this. King, if I still live, maybe she does. Ooh, there's a she. So he must have a queen somewhere. Let's go ahead and pause for a second. We'll build our tavern there. And then let's go ahead and get our lumber yard there again. And then we will put our villager there. And let's hit play and fast forward. Got our knight there. So the villager will go start chopping down some trees. Uh, the merchant's not there. That's a good sign. So maybe he'll come visit us here soon. And we'll get our kingdom building up here again. Woo! So... As we sit here and let everything build back up, if you guys have been enjoying this content, don't forget to like and subscribe here to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion. I really appreciate all the views, the likes, the comments you guys have been doing. It warms my heart. I'm here for it just as much as I am here for you. So if you need anything, uh, let me know down in the comments and if I can help, I would be more than happy to help you guys out. All right, we got our four logs back. Let's go ahead and build our other house and we'll drop him in there. So as I was saying, if you guys ever need anything, please, please, please let me know. If you don't want to put it in the comments, you can find Tooth and Scrubs on Twitter. Just follow the link in my video description to my account and just DM me and let me know here as the moon rises and our knight gets to start hacking and slashing at these last few skeletons. And perfect, day one survived again. And we will skip the tavern here because we don't need that. Day two, here comes the old man. Let's see what he has to say today. Without your help, we wouldn't stand a chance. Thank you. That's good to hear. All right, so we could do Death Priest, we could do Cyclops, or we could do Werewolf. Um, oh, we can highlight those. Damage, melee, infantry, support, magic, infantry. 
Uh, let's take the werewolf, shall we? So we'll go ahead and move our knight up, and then we'll put our werewolf in there as well. Actually, no, let's do, let's do this. Perfect. All right, so we'll get to see our werewolf here. Fast forward. So we spawned with the two stone, just like last time, and we got the four woods. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's put our stone quarry up here. And we'll take one person out of the lumber yard and put him in the stone quarry again so he can start to gather some stone here perfectly. He's gonna gather that for us. So we still need to repair. Yeah, we gotta get our three stone here so we can repair storage and build up a nice supply of everything and repair the storage we did. All right, some of the elves and, oh, whoa. There you go, werewolf, get you some. Look at that. That's actually kind of cool. I like that animation. Running up there and attacking them, I'm assuming with his claws and whatnot. Get that elf. Slice, dice, serve on rice, my friends. A little teamwork makes a dream work. Love it. All right. So, got three stone. We'll get the fighter here in a second. Bring in that last log. Nighttime, everyone's going in. Angry. Slice, slice. Perfect. All right. Night two, or day two, survived. Pass all that. All right, day three. Still haven't seen the merchant that we helped on that last round. Get our double speed going here. Bring it in that stone, so hopefully the horse grabs it. He does, puts it in there. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock the fighter. And we'll put our fighter there. That way we got a little coverage on the knight and the werewolf. And then let's also build the lumber mill or the sawmill. Uh, and then we gotta save up for the eight logs so we can then build the house. I probably should have built the house first. Yeah, that might have been a little oops. I should have built the house first so then we could have him in the lumber, or excuse me, yeah, the lumber yard, crank out some logs and then come back and build that. But, you know, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. Got the death priests working their way in with the elves and some skeletons here. The rain, I'm assuming, is slowing people down. God, I just like that animation with the werewolf going out and getting those guys there. Yeah, this is a nice little combo. They they both got about the same distance for attack. So they can do, the werewolf runs out, does his one attack, comes back. And we got the knight here, or the, the fighter here, kind of protecting the home base. All right. Slice, dice, serve on rice there. Very nice. All right, day number three survived. We got 18 coins. We might save our coins this time so we can upgrade our knight. But then again, we could start with another... How much is another stone? 33. Okay, well, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Uh, fast forward there, not pause. Okay, pulling out. We got our eight logs. Build our new house. And we'll get them in the lumber yard there. Excuse me, the sawmill. So we can get some planks. And then we'll put the ore or the uh, gold mine down here. Very nice. Uh, one more and we can upgrade our fighter. Can we upgrade him? No, looks like we need to get two gold bars. Transforms into a wolf and bites in an area and applies bleeding. Okay, nice. Like that. Okay, one plank in. We should have here, we'll have our eight stones in a second. So let's go ahead and upgrade our fighter. Very nice. And there goes our wagon with the stones. So now he uh, has that reduced to 1.4 seconds. I forgot what it was originally. As the ogres come in here, at least that's what I'm calling them. I don't know if they're actually ogres. That fighter slashing again. Nice. Oh, okay. So he does do a little AOE on those guys. Put that little bleed damage on there. Werewolf has three health. Oh no, our werewolf died. No. That's not what we want, not what we want at all. Hopefully we survive the night here. Um, I think, yeah, we should be in decent shape. 27 coins here. Oh no, um, he did not survive. And this is where if we would have had a meal, we would have revived him. But since we don't have food, I think he, I think he dies. Yeah, since we didn't have any food for him, he dies. Um, that's a shame. Yeah, he'll probably collapse here in a second. There's the merchant, at least. Let's see what the merchant has to say. <laughs> hey. Uh, so we could trade three planks for two gold bars. Well, the wolf's dead. Um, sure, we'll do that. I don't know what we'll be able to do with it. Can we upgrade him? 
I'm gonna clip up, click upgrade. I don't, I don't think this is gonna bring him back. What's, oh, it does bring him back. Okay, cool. Um, so we got our werewolf back and he's level two now and reduced his attack time. Very nice indeed. We'll hit double speed here. Start bringing all these resources in. Um, we need what, one more? We got our two, oh, we need one more stone. Hopefully here comes the horse with the stone. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and build our gold mine down here and we'll take the person out of the sawmill and put him in the gold mine there. And then we're gonna need three more stone to upgrade storage so we can then uh, get the 16 wood or 16 logs we need for the next house. All right, we're getting some ore down there. Nice. He's bringing that back in. Werewolf up there doing some biting attacks. Nice. Yeah, putting those bleeds on those guys. Knocking those ogres down. Get that treasure, 30. I think we might hold on to our coins. As much as I need that extra starting resource, we will probably hold off. Gather that up there. It's nighttime. Down goes the werewolf again. Uh, our knight's taking quite a bit of damage. Down goes our fighter. And down goes the knight too, but that's okay. We'll save our coins and we'll upgrade him here at the start of the next video. Thank you so much guys for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrubs video here in Super Fantasy Kingdom. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come and check out some more videos and I'll see you in the next one.